I can't take away all everyone's problems. I can't save everyone. Jesus did that. It's not my job to save everyone. I don't know what they feeling. I don't know what they thinking. Bro, my soul's invisible like Mario when he blanket. What's good, YouTube? Back at it again with another episode of Unfiltered Thoughts. Sorry I missed last week, but I do want to update y'all. I'm probably going to change the upload schedule to Mondays. Just because that's working better with my schedule right now. But for the topic of this video, I want to talk about why you need to stop trying to save the world because Jesus did that you know for me I have this problem of always it's not really a problem I wouldn't say but this is a desire to always fix things I want to be able to fix a problem someone has I want to be able to help someone and take away the burden that they feel and do all these lists of things and I may be able to help in some fashion but I'm not I can't take away all everyone's problems. I can't save everyone. Jesus did that. It's not my job to save everyone. And the more I try to take on all of that and just burden myself with that, then I become weighed down. And it affects me in a way that I'm no longer present everywhere because I'm trying to absorb everyone's issues so I can figure out how to solve them. And I want to start by saying, when I say Jesus came to save everyone, that's what he did. He came to save you from this world because we're all going to die. Death is inevitable for every person. And he gives us the opportunity to have eternal life in heaven with him. But what I'm not saying is that Jesus is going to get rid of every problem you have. Your life is going to get easier and you're not going to be stressed. That's not what I'm saying. Because if anything, your life will become more difficult in this temporary lifetime we live. There is an expiration date on our lives. And in that short time, you will go through problems. Even if you believe in Jesus. Even if you've been saved. But Jesus came and he overcame the world. Right? Let's, let's look at Matthew 11 verses 28 and 30. It says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light." Right? Jesus is saying, everyone that's heavy burdened, come to him. Right? It is not our jobs to take away people's burdens, to take away people's problems. You, you can want to, and I'm, I don't know, I don't want to say that having the desire to help people and not want to see people in pain and hurting is a bad thing because no, it's not. But if you think that every time, every person you encounter that is struggling or going through it, you're the one capable of taking that away from them, you're not because you're not Jesus. And instead of trying to take on that, responsibility you should be giving it to Jesus you should be directing to Jesus and then helping where you can but don't take ownership of it because Jesus came to give him rest I didn't come to give anyone rest I didn't come to take away anyone's burden I didn't come to bring peace to someone's soul Jesus did and that's a big thing I've been learning because for a while I thought that I could do that. I thought that I could give someone rest in their soul, that I could help someone attain peace, but I can't, but I can lead them to who can. And anyone that's a Christian, you can lead people to where they can find rest. And by rest, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying your problems go away. I'm not saying you're not gonna suffer, but I'm saying you will be at peace. And for me, my peace was being disturbed by me trying to fix everything and fix everyone. And I'm broken. A broken vessel can't, you know, a broken human can't fix another broken human. I need to be fixed. Right? Again, Jesus came to do all of that. Because when Jesus died on the cross, what did he say? John 19, 30. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. It is finished. He did the job. Jesus came and died for your soul, for you to have everlasting life. So this temporary life we live in 
it's, it's temporary, it's short. There's gonna be an eternity forever. And I can't even comprehend forever, to be honest with you, but I do know one day I'm gonna die. And although this life may have its problems, its ups and downs, one day I'm gonna die and I'm gonna have an everlasting joy because I'll be in the presence of God. And why is that? Because Jesus died and he finished the work. It was done, right? He said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit, right? He gave up his life. He didn't have to do that, but he did that for you and me. And now I do wanna make a caveat to what I'm saying because what I'm not saying is, oh, well, Jesus came to save everyone so I can't help anyone. I can't do anything for people. I should just focus on myself, wrong. Scripture should interpret scripture. So let's go James 1 27. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this. Visit the orphans and widows in their affliction and keep oneself unstained from the world. So again, it says to visit the orphans and the widows. What is that showing? Showing concern for your community, for the people around you. Have care and, con and concern for them. And when I'm saying have concern for them, I'm not just saying like, Oh, I'm so sorry for you and you don't do anything. No, be with people, dine with people, commune with people, especially those afflicted, right? The orphans and the widows. So obviously God wants us to be there for one another. But my point is do not take on the suffering of people and the problems of people and think that you came here to save the world. I thought in my mind, that I could save the world. Well, saying I'm a Christian and saying I believe in Jesus. So if I believe in Jesus, then I believe that Jesus came and saved the world. Now we have the option to believe in him or not. And that dictates where we go. It's, it's simple. But I did not come here to save the world, Jesus did. And I needed to be reminded of that. But I also needed to be reminded that I need to still love my community and care for my community and to visit and, and commune with the people around me, especially those that are afflicted, that are going through it. It's because he, what I'm not saying is like, oh, this person has this bad situation. I'm just gonna pray for you. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do, right? You know those people that, oh, I'll pray for you. But if you can do something, right? If, if I'm, in anguish and pain and you can sit with me or hang out with me and ease my mind from that pain you should do that don't just say oh i'll pray for you you know it's, it's a balance everything everything is a balance there's a there's a balance to all things but at the end of the day you and me are not here to save the world we're here to point people to the savior of the world. And in doing that, live a life that is pure, right? Caring for our communities, caring for our, our brothers and sisters, caring for people that are afflicted, loving them. And, the, and the, an action word, right? Love is not an emotion, it's an action word. So it's a verb. You're doing something by loving someone. And with that, y'all, that's today's video. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all next week. Next week's video might be on a Friday. It might be on a Monday. You'll find out if you stay tuned. Hit the notification bell, subscribe. Uh, if you feel like you ain't seen my face in a minute, I've only missed one week. So hit my channel, go back and see all the other videos because there's tons of videos. Y'all, for the past seven months, I was dropping a video every week. Not nah, eight months. So do the math. But other than that, I'll see y'all. Peace. Say that you don't got the victory over us now. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. All my life, they always looked at me like I was perfect.